The trouble with fashion shows these days is that no matter how attractive the clothes being displayed, one show is pretty much the same as another, at least to us. However, here's a show which really captured the audience's imagination. For a start, the girls were more glamorous than most, and their figures more shapely than is usual. Reason being, of course, that they were only marionettes. Almost living dolls were modeling a range of clothes by Selincourt, which were miniature replicas of outfits worn by conventional models at the same show. For the benefit of any puppets in the cinema, this model is called Jamais. Her vital statistics are not available, however. The marionettes are operated by Frank and Maisie Mumford, who naturally keep well in the background. They started in children's theatre and graduated to cabaret, and although this is their first fashion show in this country, they've already done this sort of thing in France, where they work about eight months in the year. The model in this case is Martine. The marionettes are reassembled to fit in with the part they're required to play, and in this case their faces and hairstyles were made up to match the styles they had to model. Just as glamorous as the others, but decidedly plumper, is Linda, who is fashioning clothes for the fuller figure. Talking about models, if you wanted your daughter, for example, to become one, there's nothing to stop her so long as she realizes it's a greatly overcrowded profession. But if you want your puppet to become a model, you'll have to face the fact that it's not so easy. There's a lot of string pulling involved. And this, by the way, is Zizi, star of the troupe. In fact, her appearance is never altered. One final point. This is one type of fashion show in which women in the audience need never feel envious of the model's figures. And as for the men, whatever they say about puppets in general, this one certainly got him on a piece of string. 